Today we're going to be talking about point bearing distance, point bearing, point bearing, and point distance. All right, so let's uh, start off with where are we? We're sitting on the runway over here in uh, Teterboro, runway 24. We have a flight plan filed down to Opelaka. We're going to be doing the Rudy 6 departure, which I know you all love, and there it's showing up on the nav display. So ATC tells you that after you get to Rudy, they want you to fly to a particular point in space before you go further with your course. Well, they give you this following command. They say, or instruction, they say, uh, Gulfstream, whatever you are, we want you to fly on the 210 degree radial, 15 miles from Teterboro. So it's going to be the 210 radial from Teterboro, but 15 miles away. That's where ATC wants us. Right, so how do we do that? Well, you type in TEB, TEB slash, if we could get this in here, slash, what was the radial? 210 slash, how many miles away? 15 miles, we'll put 15, and then where do you put it? Well, you'll go next, you'll have uh, Rudy here, and then the next one we're going to is obviously Colt's Neck. So right after Rudy, which means right above Colt's Neck, you're going to place it into the FMS, the point bearing distance. Yes, it's going to be Teterboro. And then watch what happens. Boom. It builds us a point bearing distance. The point, Teterboro, the bearing, 210, and the distance, 15 miles away. So that's how you do point bearing distance. Now let's get rid of that, and let's do point bearing, point bearing. So now, ATC tells you that they want you to fly after Rudy, as an example, they want you to fly with the 210 radial from Teterboro. So we're going to put TEB slash 210 and the 010 radial from Colt's Neck. Well, where is that? Well, we have to put Colt's Neck in there. C-O-L slash 010. And we're going to put that right after Rudy, right above uh, Colt's, or right on top of Colt's Neck. And that will build us... Right, Colt's Neck, of course. And that'll build us now a radial radial. Now let's look. There it is. So the 210 radial from Teterboro and the 010 radial from Colt's Neck builds radial radial. The last thing to talk about now, let's get rid of that. The last thing to talk about now is let's assume ATC tells you that they would like you to cross 30 miles this side of Plump at 30,000 feet. How do you do that? Well, you got to bring plump to the scratch pad. And I see the lines going through here. And you bring plump to the scratch pad. You can see that here. And then slash, slash with the number 30. Put that right over plump. And that will build you a point distance. 07 in this case. And that's right before plump. So it's right after magic, right before plump. And you can see uh, point distance. So it says point or a PD, Papa Delta, that point distance. So the point is plump. The distance from plump is 30. And as you can see right here, you're looking at 30 miles to plump. Now, I said cross that at 30,000 feet, correct? So how you do that is you put in a slash and you put in 300 or 30,000. You put that right over on the right side. Now you have 30,000 in there. All you have to do at this point is dial in 30,000 in the altitude preselector and press VNAV and it will take you where you need to go. And that is point bearing distance, point bearing, point bearing, and point distance. And that's it. Have fun.